Not perfect, but not bad. delivered yesterday. Uh, we're not quite ready to uh, spread them out yet. We're just keeping them bundled on the roof while we finish up uh, the top of our house. Uh, I think you saw that we removed that plywood and underneath now is just the foam flat with um, the concrete. Um, on top of that we're putting this poly the whole way around. We saw this on YouTube actually um, for a passive house. So essentially this piece of poly, the outside of it is going to be sealed to our outside house wrap, which is air tight. And the inside is going to be sealed to what most people would have this in their um, attic underneath their insulation. But this is going to run along the bottom of our trusses the entire way. So that creates a complete a completely sealed house from the outside, the ground, all the way up over our roof and back down the other side on all four sides um, to create air tightness. Our goal, we're trying to build as close to a passive house as we can. We're aiming for step five of the step code. Uh, so air tightness is a huge factor in achieving the passive house or step code. Um, that's one of the main areas of air leakage in a house is you have a wall and then you have a roof and that seam between the wall and the roof is really hard to actually seal. So by doing this, that's the, that T might not be sealed, but it doesn't matter because the roof is actually going to be like the roof truss is actually outside of our, our air seal. So we're hoping that that will help us achieve our step five test. Um, Poly is not, though, an, one of the improved materials for waterproofing wood that's sitting on concrete. Any wood that's going to live its life on concrete has to be waterproofed. Uh, so we're just adding this sill gasket over top, which is probably really redundant, but technically poly is not good enough, so it's easy to do. We're just running that out, and then our sill goes on top, and this is where the trusses are going to sit. It's going to make it a little hard to grab things with my fingers. Yeah, if I'm there, we're going to get that cold air. Yeah. Well, you got to break something.
win. Wind is so annoying. Oh yeah. Such a beautiful view from up here. You can see the snow line across the lake there. Snowing over there. Won't be long before it's snowing here, so I gotta get this roof on. <laughs> we tried to trick this camera. <laughs> 